What's up guys? Hope you all are doing great. In this video, we'll be creating a simple link shortener with just five lines of code. So this is going to be really easy, real fast, and it's really important, especially if you have really long links and yeah, you want to shorten them down because sometimes that long link, they look really ugly and it's just hard to remember. So this way you have a short link and yeah, that's what we're creating. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the vid guys. It really helps me out. And you know what? Let's get started. And if you're wondering what code this is, this is a simple TCP chat room. And I made this earlier. So you know what? I'll leave a card for that, but we're not doing this project. So I'm using PyCharm for this project, but you can use whatever ID you want to use. But what I'll do next is I'll go to file and I'll click on new project. And right here, I'll name this project link shortener. Okay, on this window, what we need to do next is create our Python file. And the way we do that is we go on the project, we right click, and then we hover on new. And then when you hover on new, you go to Python file, you click on that, and I'll call this file main, I click enter, and now we have our Python file. And the name of the Python file is main.py. What we need to do next is we need to import the necessary module. But before we do that, I want you to go to your file and go to your settings just to make sure that we save this module in the right environment, you click on your project. And after you click on your project right here, you click on project interpreter. When you click on the project interpreter, what I want you to do is I want you to go to this place called project interpreter. You click on it and then you choose this other one right here. You don't choose the one with your project name on it. You choose the one without it. So this that says Python 3.9 and then has this whole information right here. We click on that. And after we click on it, you need to make sure you click on also OK. Now, guys, I'll leave a link for this web page right here. So all you need to do when you get to this web page is you click on this where you copy this command right here. And when you copy the command, you go back to your PyCharm. And in the PyCharm, we go to our terminal. We click on the terminal. And when we click on our terminal, we paste it right here so we can see right now that we have pip install pi shorteners because that's the module we're going to use to make this link shortening possible click on enter and now we're installing the necessary module so we just wait a little bit Now it has successfully been installed. What we need to do next is we need to import this module we just installed. So we'll say import pi shortener. And I'm going to install it again. So you just click on here. You, cl you, you click on this bulb right here, this red bulb. You click on it and you click on install package shortener. So we've installed it again and now it actually works out. Sometimes it'd be working like this. Sometimes it happens like this. We can see that it has been installed properly now because we don't get that red on the line that was here before. When we've done that, we need to create a variable called link and we set that equal to our input because we need to take the input from the user that says enter your link. And when you enter it, we create a space right here. So there's space between you entering your link and also the last word, which is this colon right here. And when we do that, we create another variable called shortener. Shortener, yes. And we set that equal to pi shortener dot shortener with a capital. And we're calling this function. We're not referring to it. If we're referring to it, we wouldn't put these brackets right here, but we're calling it. So we need to put the brackets right there. And what we do next, because I said five lines of code, now we're on three lines. Okay, guys, what we're going to do now is we'll create a variable called new link. I'll set new link to shortener dot tiny URL dot short.
and right here we'll put actually the link that we get what we do next is we need to just print new link and you can see that we have five lines of code and we're done so what we do next is we just run it so I'll run it right here you see it says enter your link we paste it right here click on enter and now we've gotten our new link with the tiny URL in front of it so I'm gonna copy this I will actually go on incognito mode and paste this link there and see if it takes us to my YouTube channel ask for cookies so we click on agree and yep you can see it takes us straight there so you can see this is my YouTube channel Sam codes but what we can see is that this URL shortener is actually working well and yeah guys that's it for this tutorial try it out yourself and you have your own private URL shortener and you can use this for so many stuff hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like subscribe to the channel I know what I'll catch you guys in the next video